What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Random. Welcome back to part two of three of turning that Crown Victoria into a Mercury Marauder. Now in today's video, we're gonna be installing the corner lights and the headlights. And as we get closer, you guys can see, I already have the Marauder bumper. It's already here, but it is not fully hooked up. That bumper is nowhere even close to being rigged up the way it should be. I was just kind of mocking it up earlier for some Instagram pictures just to kind of see what it would look like. So for today's video, you guys will get a little treat because you will see, because you'll get like a, maybe like a 90% idea of what it's gonna look like when it's complete. I'm still missing the fog lights for the bumper. It's not fully mounted on the side yet, so it's not fitting exactly and I'm missing the Mach 1 chin spoiler. Now you might be looking at these and wondering, hey, something's missing and I'll get to that in just a second. But the reason I decided to make this part two and not just include it with part three and make it a two part series is because there's actually a method to installing the corner lights and the headlights. It's nothing like the Crown Victoria and I figured you guys will definitely need as much details, as much help with this as you can get. Now the reason you're only looking at one headlight and two corner lights is because the company where I ordered these, they effed up and they only sent me a one damn headlight. I already contacted them so you guys are going to get the after look when I'm done installing these. I'm only installing one headlight and two corner lights but it's going to be enough to, get, to show you guys how to install it on your own car. But when I'm finally done with them, by the time you're seeing this video, you'll see both of them fully installed. Alright guys, and this video is going to be a perfect opportunity to show you that it is mandatory. There is no way around. You need a Marauder or Grand Marquis header panel in order to do a Marauder conversion. Number one is the grill is completely different. The grill for the Marauder is a lot wider. Therefore, if you use a Crown Vic header panel, the Marauder grill will not fit. Second of all, if you notice on this headlight, you see where the bolts attach, the three bolts. On the Marauder header panel, you have for your three bolts to attach. Also for the corner lights, unlike the Crown Vic, which uses a Phillips head screw on this side and screws right into the side, the Marauder one has two screws on the other side that screw into the Marauder header panel. So like I said, it is impossible there's no way around there, no matter what anybody says. I'm the one doing the conversion. I'm the one that did the research. I'm the one that's doing it live and in color. You cannot do a Marauder, full Marauder, front end conversion without a Marauder or Grand Marquis header panel. All right, and in the spirit of keeping things transparent with you guys, make sure when you order a specific header panel that you order the headlights for that year. The years need to match. I have a 2003 marauder header panel but i have 2004 lights what that means is that i had to drill an extra hole here on the side in order to get that second bracket to fit right through it's easy fix it works perfect it's not even noticeable once the light is on another thing the fender of your crown victoria has this thing right here this piece of metal actually sticks out it sticks out to the side i literally bent it this way so now it's perfectly flat so you see it's not in the way it used to stick out now it's not in the way anymore i literally did it with my thumb it's easy took me what 10 seconds to do fix the problem completely i'm keeping it transparent for you guys i want you guys to be able to do this thing and for it to come out looking good just remember once this bad boy's in there dude it won't even be noticeable, so keep that in mind. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna start with is the headlight. As you see, there's these bracket mounts there and there, there's three of them. And there's that big tube thing, you're just gonna push it through and you'll see it, see? How it just all perfectly aligns. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna push it through and you're gonna stick your screws through each of those three holes. This kid lives in his freaking underwear. Junior! Alright guys, so our headlight is mounted. Super easy. Went to Ace Hardware. Got me these heavy duty freaking uh, studs right here. And I got some nuts to go with it that I'm going to screw in just to secure the headlights. But as you guys can see, perfectly flush. One, two, three. Next up is to screw these nuts in there just to hold it 
a little bit tighter and then we're gonna go with our corner lamps and that's where this uh, Captain Underpants in here comes in hand. All right, this next part, I won't be able to record the process because I'm gonna have to help uh, my son screw this part in. I'm gonna have to hold it in, but I'm gonna show you guys. You get your corner lamp and you secure it through the hole where it's supposed to be, right? Once it's nice and flush, then you come around, you see how it sticks out, the two studs stick out. You get yourself the two nuts, screw them into the studs. You're gonna need some small hands to do that. But if you wanna check it out like my Vic, all you gotta do, grab yourself one of these bad boys with an extender, flip that sucker upside down, stick it in there and check it out like my Vic. Screw it back in. That bit ain't going nowhere. Check it out like my Vic. All right guys, and there you have it. That's what the first uh, headlight set, corner lamp and headlight look on a Chrome Vic converted to a Marauder. Now I'm just gonna repeat the same step for the next two. I gotta wait like three or four more days to get this headlight again for that side. But with the magic of YouTube and the internet, you guys will see it at the snap of a finger. Here we go. All right guys, so it's finally been like four days and that passenger side headlight finally got here. The car is technically complete. If you notice, I actually did end up installing the bumper all the way exactly how it's supposed to fit. But, uh, but I'm still missing that Mach 1 chin spoiler, so I will be leaving that for part three. But we finally finished installing the headlights, the Marauder headlights on the Crown Vic. I'm gonna go ahead and close the hood. I'm gonna turn on the lights because I have the, L I have the LEDs uh, installed instead of what came with its stock, just so you guys can get a better look, and I will see you guys in part three. Run free and dive into the sky Hear the wind crying